Your Royal Highnesses, we have high hopes for the JCB Academy. For example, we anticipate that the unique technical education it provides for 14 to 19 year olds will be inspirational for young people. Your Royal Highnesses, please accept our heartfelt thanks for your visit today. Uh, could I now invite you to formally open the JCB Academy? Thank you, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as before we attempt to unveil this plaque, I just wanted to say what a, a particular pleasure it is for both my wife and myself to be able to join you here today. And I must say, um, I've been so impressed by what uh, you've managed to achieve with this new academy. And uh, meeting some of the students as we were going round was uh, particularly interesting, I thought, considering the fact that many of them probably have to get up at half past six in the morning in order to be here on time. And they go on working until five o'clock in the evening, and then they don't get home until quite late. So I was glad to find that some of them at least managed to have a kip in the bus on the way home. <laughs> they don't have to do any homework, which is a remarkable uh, addition. But it does mean, I think, that they are working incredibly hard in a, a remarkable atmosphere with clearly so many uh, remarkable teachers and tutors and mentors, because it seems to me so important that each each student does have a mentor, and that I felt was such a, a marvelous uh, uh, part of what, what, what you do here. So Natalie was mentioning uh, only too, in only too articulate a way what so many of the problems and challenges have been that uh, this country faces as far as engineering uh, is concerned and manufacturing. I don't know how many remember, but when I was serving in the Navy nearly 40 years ago, I hate to tell you, I came across all sorts of intriguing engineers. And uh, I used to talk to them about this, that, and the other. And I remember after leaving the Navy, I felt there was a problem. And so I suggested, and it, for some reason or other, they picked it up to the BBC Tomorrow's World program, that we might try something that might raise the profile of engineering and inventors, for that matter, in this country, who we have relied on for so many Yes, brilliant people who find fantastically clever, imaginative solutions, but usually are picked up by other people in other countries and turned into highly valuable products that we then have to spend a fortune buying from them. So we set up something called the Prince of Wales's Award for Innovation and Production. And I remember for 16 years this went on. And down at Highgrove, I had Harrier jets landing in fields and goodness knows what, there were all sorts of things like inkjet printers and cunning people who'd made brilliant uh, things to join wires up in a fence, still used, it's called a gripple. So I remember giving them my award and so on. So for 16 years we tried all this and I don't think anybody paid the slightest attention. But it did seem to me that it was absolutely crucial to have this element of training and apprenticeship and vocational study which Anthony mentioned. So from my point of view, for what it's worth, I think this academy and others, I hope, like it, will make an enormous difference to this country's future. Particularly, if I may say so, and then I'll shut up, because of the need to establish and develop rapidly a low-carbon economy. Funnily enough, I was asked, I don't know why, to go and speak to the European Parliament 10 days ago in Brussels. They must be gluttons of punishment. They asked me back a second time in two years. <laughs> but they were having a summit on uh, low carbon growth and prosperity. I don't know why they asked me to come along. They must be having difficulty. But it is, the, at the moment, there is a real tendency to just go back to business as usual, if you notice. And we must, if we're going to get anywhere in this world in the future, and if these students and their generation are going to have any future at all, rapidly develop this low carbon economy because it will create jobs and it will create uh, a degree of prosperity for the future. If we don't, it seems to me we're setting ourselves up for a real disaster. So I'm thrilled that this, this academy is doing what it is doing, and I can only wish it every possible success in the future. And I should be so interested as I get older, if I'm still alive, to see where these students end up, because I'm sure they'll contribute an enormous amount to this country's future success. 
So having said that, nothing could give me greater pleasure or ask greater pleasure than to open the new academy.